Hey, what's up? Call me Star, fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel. We're trying to help kids fall in love with reading by talking about amazing books. If you are new here, please consider subscribing so that you can be notified the next time I talk about a book as awesome as Controlled Burn by Aaron Soderberg Downey. I loved this book from cover to cover. I couldn't stop reading it. Uh, the book opens with um, your main character, Maya, at home and the, she's home alone with her younger sister. I think she's 12. Yeah, she's 12, Maya's 12. And you, she like smells fire or smoke and there's a fire, like their house is on fire. Like the book opens there uh, and there's a fire and she is faced with like her sister is like behind the fire and she has to try to save her sister's life or her sister's gonna burn. Her sister's like a deep sleep. It's just such a wild opening to the book. She does eventually uh, rescue and save her sister. Um, her sister is covered, I think, in like 50% of her body is covered in burns. And Maya thinks that the fire was her fault. She thinks that she left a candle burning in her bedroom that caused this fire that injured her sister and basically burnt down the half of their house. Um, so Maya, it's towards the end of the school year, not quite to the end, almost at the end of the school year, she goes and lives with her grandparents uh, in Northern Minnesota. She knows them, you know, she sees them a few times a year, but doesn't like know them, know them. Um, but she's good there while her parents stay at the hospital trying to take care of her sister and figure out where they're going to live and how they're going to put their life back together. So she's going to go there, spend the rest of the school year, the last few weeks of the school year, just be done with school and then the summer. And obviously she's pretty traumatized, as you can imagine. Um, but one of the things that I love so much about this book are the characters, not just Maya, who is a fascinating character as she's dealing with this um, guilt and stress um, and all the things going on in her head, but the grandparents are so fascinating, especially the grandpa. Huge place in my heart for the grandpa in this story. His like job, like volunteer job, he goes into like this fire tower and like watches for fires in the forest. And don't really understand why, but he's pretty obsessed with it. He does it every day. Uh, Maya has to go with him because grandma doesn't want her to be alone at home all day, just sitting around and she's scared of heights so she won't go up there. And obviously the whole fire issue she's dealing with. So she just kind of stays down. There's a like a stray dog that she's trying to convince the grandpa to adopt and fall in love with. But it's so good. And there's a kid in that she meets down the street who is younger, a few years younger. He's trying to get like all his like Cub Scout badges and she decides to help him with that. Um, but just watching her deal with and process these things that she has, you know, the fire and her sister and is it her fault? And she's not really talking about it and just keeping it all inside. It's just so interesting and so fascinating watching her try to things out, figure things out and the way she gets to know her grandparents and what she learns about some of the guilt that her grandfather has in his heart. It's just a phenomenal read. Uh, I couldn't get enough of it. My fifth graders are gonna love it. I'm gonna read, I'm filming this video on a Friday, uh, first chapter Friday where I read the first chapter of a book. I'm gonna read them the first chapter of this book. And the first chapter is where the house catches on fire and she has to save her sister's life. So I think they're gonna be instantly hooked. If you're looking for an amazing book, this 2022, November of 2022 book is a must read, Controlled Burn by Aaron Soderberg Downing. Read it, you won't regret it, I promise. My name is Colby Sharp. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have an awesome-tastic day.